Welcome to Astro Rahul Channel English. I'm your host Vishal Sathe. Today we are going to discuss for the Scorpio ascendant what happens when Mars comes in the seventh house in Taurus. If you want to watch this same episode in Hindi, then go to Astro Rahul Channel Hindi. And if you want to know about the identification and benefits of Ayurvedic herbs, then visit Health Channel. For the Scorpio ascendant. Many videos on the YouTube will tell you that Mars is a yoga karka, and he does very well if placed in positive houses. And the seventh house is a positive house, so he will not destroy the seventh house. My experience is that many concepts are there in astrology. These concepts are. right but you can you cannot take these concepts as it is you have to look at the realities of life you have to look at the energies of the planets and you have to look at how the horoscope is placed how how planets are placed in the horoscope you have to look at the horoscope in order to decide how this planet will behave as far as i am concerned um, I, numerous consultations uh, with this placement which i have gone through in majority of cases i have found out that this placement is malefic even though mars is the yoga karka planet still because what happens here is the ascendant lord here is going in the 7th house and it is mars and it is trying to dominate and it is going in the taurus sign but to understand in this placement that here the planet concerned is mars he is not moon or venus or saturn even though mars is placed in the 7th house mars has this selfish attitude and he will think about himself and not others so what my observation on this is many a times uh, such people uh, they uh, are financially backward initially and they have such uh, financially difficulties financial difficulties in life and this is the cause of this placement this is the cause that they feel that they they expect financial security financial gains from the 7th house from their partners from their spouse and this position is quite malefic because uh, what i observed is you might think that fine uh, the person was in difficulty initially financial difficulty that's why he was expecting money financial security financial gain from uh, others and uh, after marriage he gets financial security from his spouse he gets that uh, money that financial gains from the spouse but even then now this person has to get satisfied but this person i have seen that he doesn't get satisfied he all his life he keeps on expecting that financial security that financial gains from the 7th house <coughs> and uh, here as i uh, discussed the planet is mars so he goes in the 7th house and he uh, expects financially uh, financial security and still he dominates on the on his partners on his spouse so he wants financial security he wants something from others and still he will boss on others and still he will also expect financial security from them so this is a very malefic uh, kind of a placement and moreover one more thing adds to this maleficness is the fact that mars here is the sixth lord which is placed in the seventh house so what i have seen is that the person is uh, many a times very critical about his spouse about his partners about others on small small matters uh, he will object he will have problems this kind of a nature is there of the individual uh, nature is uh, of competing unnecessarily on each and every instance 
and uh, the na- ma- if uh, mars is uh, more mellifically placed then uh, even uh, the person might feel as if uh, his partner his spouse is his enemy or he might feel financial burden uh, through his partner because sixth house represents all these qualities now if mars is placed in kritika nakshatra then the maleficness is it increases even more and if uh, mars is in rohini nakshatra then the maleficness decreases and the success financial success of the individual it increases and this placement becomes a bit more positive so these people have to learn to be patient they ha- should try to be balanced to be cooperative and they should not uh, worry on small small matters and they should try to develop good relationship with others this uh, these individuals have to learn and they should try to be soft spoken as well because many a times uh, their speech is harsh because from here mars also aspects the second house so while speaking they might speak on the face and be many a times straight forward and harsh otherwise uh, their relationships might end in a divorce or all broken marriages to avoid all these uh, difficulties they should develop a soft nature as far as profession is concerned these guys uh, will do very well in uh, all kinds of professions which uh, deal with mass public so they can be good youtubers or uh, in any profession where the turnover is very large and uh, where they are dealing with the mass public they will they can do very well because here the ascendant lord is placed in the 7th house in taurus so in all these kind of professions they can earn really well so this was my analysis on this placement mars in taurus in 7th house for the scorpio ascendant if you like this episode please don't forget to press the like button because videos are promoted when you click the like button and do share these videos this is very important for me this is vishal sate signing off for now bye